Second night of Memphis and May World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest is all about the fun. The pork can wait mm -hmm. tonight. Uh, tonight it's all about the Miss Piggy Idol competition. Yeah, teams have no shame in what they wear or what they do while singing to their favorite songs. Local 24 News anchor Rudy Williams spent the day at Memphis in May. Well, to end up in this cooler, it's obvious this little piggy went to market. Oh, the These little piggies came to croon. Miss Piggy Idol, it's a fan favorite each year at the Memphis and May World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest. I am seed as five teams took the stage to squeal their way to the top position in the singing and costume competition. <laughs> teams Swine and Dine, Grill and Grind, the Swinos, Chi Town Cookers, and Pigs Gone Wild parodied everybody from the Backstreet Boys to Ike and Tina Turner in front of hundreds of screaming audience members. Our own Chelsea Chandler served as one of the judges, selecting Team Swinos as the top prime porkers. And while there was butt shaking on stage, it was the lesson I got in what I thought was the pork bottom that sizzled my bacon. One team I got to meet specializes in pork bottom, but it's not what you think. Back in the revolutionary days, the, uh, the front shoulder of the pig was tough to cook because it's a dark meat, a lot of muscles in it. They used to take those shoulders, pack them in salt, put them in wooden casks, and send them back over to Europe. Well, the boats ri originated in Boston, so when they used to get to Europe, the, the casks were called butts. They were always stamped from Boston, and nine out of ten times contained the front shoulder of a pig. Well, there you have it. Your shoulder is actually the butt. The World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest continues through Saturday with an award ceremony for the winners at 6.30 p.m. Rudy Williams, Local 24 News.